Hey everyone, I'm Scott and I have diabetes. Before we get started, I wanted to show you I actually do have the last three versions of Dexcom. This is the first Dexcom system I ever got. It was the Dexcom G4. And I got this in 2015, I believe. So I started with the Dexcom G4 and then they released the Dexcom G5 system and I got that. This is my Dexcom G5. And then this is the newest Dexcom G6 CGM system. So we're gonna set this up today. I'm gonna set it up on my phone and on the receiver so that you can see both. First things first, let's take off the G5. There it is. So I'm gonna actually take the transmitter off of this sensor and keep it because I didn't keep any of my G4 transmitters, which I never regret. So first things first, I'm gonna delete the app from my phone because the G5 can interfere with the G6. Oh, it even, it already fell off of my watch. There's usually my Dexcom reading there in the center and it's already gone. It moves quick. When you first open the Dexcom app, it says welcome. Use your product instructions along with this app to help you get started. Before getting started, make sure your smart device is connected to the internet. It is. Let's also get the receiver out. So when you power it on, it says loading. There it goes. Let's get started. So enter the date and time, and then it asks you for the sensor code. So when you are pairing your receiver, you have to enter everything manually. But if you're doing it through the phone, you can import your settings from the previous, if you had a G5 before, you can import all of your settings from your G5, from your Dexcom account. So, import complete. Your G6 includes new features like no finger stick calibrations, 10 day sensor session, easy to use sensor applicator, a smaller transmitter, and an urgent low soon alert. You receive an urgent low soon alert when your glucose level is falling fast and will be 55 milligrams per deciliter in less than 20 minutes. This gives you time to take action to prevent a low blood sugar. In order to receive CGM alerts, such as the low glucose and high glucose alert, you must allow Dexcom to send your smart device notifications. Tap allow when you receive the notification on the next screen. Set up your sensor. Sensor code is on the sensor applicator. So you can take a picture of the sensor applicator code with your phone. So now it's paired. Your transmitter sends glucose readings to your smart device. The next few screens will walk you through how to connect your transmitter to your smart device. Your transmitter and smart device connect using Bluetooth. Bluetooth on your smart device needs to be on in order for the system to work. Already done? The Dexcom G6 app will check to see if Bluetooth is turned on after you tap next. Next. Take a photo of the transmitter serial number on the outside of the transmitter box or manually enter the serial number. Keep the box for future use. So don't toss it like I do all the time. There's a video on how to insert your sensor and attach the transmitter. So I guess we're ready. You must insert sensor and attach your transmitter before continuing. No, oh, okay. So I'm doing my arm again because if you think I'm lifting up my shirt on camera, gross mistaken. What I have not been doing properly is cleaning off my prep sites. So we're gonna do that today, even though I'm using my arm, and Dexcom's gonna hate that, but I don't really care. And then I'm also going to use skin tack to help it stick longer. These are very sticky, just FYI. And then with these, so this is the new inserter, as you can see. So with this, you peel off these portions on the bottom. You gotta be kind of careful with that one. Get it placed. Just push it down. And then this little tab right here, you break to the side. So that releases it. And then we just push the button. One, two. It's crazy that I'm still like scared to do this. All right, ready? One, two. Ah! No, I'm kidding. It didn't hurt at all. I actually, I did not feel it at all. 
Like, I didn't feel a thing. I literally did not feel a thing. That is insane. Oh my god, Dexcom, you've done it again. Like, just when you think you cannot be more wowed by a company and what they do for diabetes, like, I almost don't mind being diabetic now. Like, it still sucks, but almost, uh, almost don't care. Because you've got stuff like this that's so cool that makes it literally so much better. Wow! That was crazy easy. And I, I truly, I did not feel it. Like, I did not feel a needle. I didn't feel anything. Oh, and you can see the needle in there. You can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's down in there. Wow! Oh, that was impressive. Okay, so we're gonna take this out now. And it looks like it just... So it just, it clips in right there. So just, you rest it in. And then you just push it in. Wow! Oh, this is great. Yes. Searching for transmitter. Keep smart device within 20 feet. Pairing may take up to 30 minutes. I gotta keep this box. And I need to take a picture of this at some point and share it, but oh my gosh. So the message finally popped up. It said, transmitter found. And then it had a button on this screen that said, start sensor. So I tapped it. So it says sensor warm. One hour, 59 minutes remaining. Your sensor is warming up. You will not receive alerts, alarms, or sensor glucose readings during the two hour sensor warm up. Okay, well, in about two hours, I'll come back and show you what it detects my blood sugar as. This little guy, I cannot, oh my god. It's so thin and, like I don't even feel like, oh my god, it's just awesome. Um, so I'll come back and we'll uh, test and compare what my actual reading is from my meter with the reading that Dexcom thinks I am, and we'll see uh, how it goes. So it's been two hours, and I've got my first reading. It came through on my phone and on my receiver at the same time. So I've got them simultaneously paired up, 157 and rising. So there it is on the receiver. And there it is on my phone. So now is the moment of truth. Let's see how accurate the Dexcom G6 is. Yeah. Not off to a great start. So Dexcom says 157 and my meter says 209. Not off to a great start, but the good thing about that is we can calibrate this. So let's go into settings, and underneath settings, there's actually a button down towards the bottom that says calibrate. So we're gonna do calibrate, and it says wash and dry your hands, take a finger stick with your meter, promptly enter the exact value. 209, confirm. So with the calibration, it now says 183. That's all right, it happens. I'm still very, very, very excited about this. I mean, this is so impressive. It's so thin and I did not feel it go in when I inserted it. So that's pretty great. I think that's it for this video. I'll be sure and post some updates to Instagram and let you know what I think if I run into any issues, and maybe I'll do a follow-up video. I can point out things that I like or don't like. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you didn't, just leave. Don't ever come back. Don't watch any more of them. I'm probably gonna retire anyways, because I'm not very good at this. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.